Welcome to the Maximo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. This video is part of a series highlighting Maximo mobile feature sets. Now let's explore the new inventory counting application. This is the newest application introduced in the Maximo mobile family. It targets an inventory clerk who's going to perform physical counts of physical inventory. It's important to note before you use this application that you must set up the count books, which are collections of the items that need to be counted in Core Maximo. I've done that already, and I want to show you this application on my phone. I'm signed in as a clerk. His name is Fred, and I'm going to access inventory counting. As soon as I do that, I see I have two options, one to use count books, which are the predefined count books that are defined in Core Maximo, or I can do an ad hoc count of an inventory item. Well, let's start with the count books. I'll open that up and I can see there's two count books, one which is uh, a central, which is the central storeroom for motors and pumps, and I can scroll down here and I see I also have another one, which is for the central storeroom and that's mechanical items. It also gives me a status of the count book. One is in progress, one is approved, and the number of days that it's overdue. Or and hopefully in some cases they're not overdue, but these ones happen to be. Well, let's look at our mechanical one here for 1002 and let's open that count book up. So what do I see when I look at this? In the very top, I can see that I have 10 items that need to be counted. Zero have been counted to date. I have the ability to do a filter if I wanted to filter on a batch. In this case, there isn't any or on a particular bin number. I could apply that and now I see that there's only one of those in the bin. That's super helpful for when I'm looking at a physical location. Oh, did I clear that? Make sure I clear that. Perfect. I also can change the way that the items are displayed to me. I could look at the date that they're due in either ascending or descending order. I can do the same with the batch and the bin number. So those are all predefined for me. And I, again, have, can make those configurable as a user. But now what I want to take a look at is coming over here, I'm actually going to do a screen um, or look at a barcode font. Let's take a picture because this is what is going to commonly happen. And I've looked at 560.00, which is some copper tubing, a very common item in Maximo. So it tells me when I do my search on that barcode font for that item, that I've got to come in and I've got to look at this particular item in each one of these different bin locations. So let's start with my first bin location, uh, copper tubing in KH111. Well, I don't have any there. Um, do I have an, any in A98? I, yep, I've got one in there. I'm going to keep scrolling down um, in the WO2 bin. Nope, I don't have any there. And then my last location, which is A92, I've done my count and I've got 555. So now let's look over here. Here are those four items that I quickly counted. You can see the efficiencies that can be gained by utilizing this application. So now that's, uh, I want to definitely save those changes. And again, it gives me this nice message. My physical count is saved. And if I open him back up, I can see those four items that I had counted. But now let's go back and do the ad hoc report, or excuse me, ad hoc report, ad hoc count. And now we'll do the same thing. You know, I could do a filter. I could um, change my sort order, but we love the barcode. So let's give this a go. And let's take a look at 0514, which again is some copper tubing. So I'm now being prompted to enter how many are there. I've done my physical count. Oh, let me change that again. Let's put in 41. And now I can see over here that that is uh, counted 41. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. Click that check mark. And that saves the item physical count. 
So you can see how quick and easy it is to utilize this application 